So I want to share with you lots of the fun things that have happened to me. For example, this beautiful scarf was given to me by my future son-in-law. And every year, he's originally from Kansas City, so every year for the past few years I've been invited to Kansas City for Christmas. Well, my son-in-law, or future son-in-law, works for an agricultural commodities company, and for many years he was required to travel to Asia. Now, not since the pandemic, he has not traveled, but before that, he did, and one of his stops was in Bangkok, Thailand. And that's where he bought this beautiful scarf and gave it to me as a Christmas gift. Well, I was curious about the scarf and he said, don't you know about Jim Thompson? And I said, no, I wanna show you the scarf here. No, I don't know about Jim Thompson, but I do now. And I can share that with you. I wanna show you, this is the name, Jim Thompson. And this is the bag it came in. Beautiful. I'm going to frame this someday because I think the design on it is so fabulous. But let me tell you a little bit about Jim Thompson. Jim Thompson was born in 1906, which would be a year, just about a year older than my mom. And he was involved in the Second World War. And some say that he was a spy for the United, for the Allied forces. And, um, after the war, he was, well, he went to the University of Pennsylvania, graduated, I think, a master's degree from Princeton University. And then after the war, he went to and lived in Thailand. And there, he resurrected the silk trade. And in other words, that had been a dying industry. And of course, the war had stopped a lot of things, a lot of production. So he developed and worked in a business called in a, a silk company. And these designs for these silk scarves and the silks were just awesome. And he was very, very successful. And uh, one day in, oh, I think it was around Christmas time in 1967 or 69, he was visiting some friends in the province of, of Thailand. And they got up in the morning, they went to church. He went and visited. He said he was gonna go for a stroll. And uh, he went for a stroll and he was never seen or heard from again. He just disappeared off the face of the earth. Now there was a lot of speculation that he perhaps went into hiding to work on the resolves, resolves of the Vietnam War. Um, some say that competitors knocked him off to get rid of him out of, this, out of the, his very successful silk industry. Um, some say that he was probably hit by a car and his body lay in underbrush and no one ever found it. Um, there were thousands and thousands of people who searched for him uh, and speculated what happened to him, but nobody's ever, ever found out for sure what happened to Jim Thompson. Nevertheless, his wonderful home in Bangkok has been converted into a showroom where people can go and buy his beautiful silks. You can look them up online and I'm sure they'll have some beautiful purses and fabrics that you can use to sew with. And um, it's just a great story. And I love mysteries. And I would always want to wonder whatever happened to Jim Thompson. So wherever you are, Jim Thompson, God bless you. You'd be a really old man now. You'd be uh, 114 years old. But I'd love to know what happened to you. Uh, everybody has a story. And I also, um, I, you know, I looked this up and I know this was a very expensive scarf, so I want to thank my darling future son-in-law for this scarf. And I also used it when I gave a speech and um, I wanted something spectacular to wear, so I wore my scarf and I wore it with a, a dark blue uh, top. And um, I gave a speech in Janesville, Wisconsin, and I found these earrings online. And of course, I found the jewelry online. And the jewelry is from Heidi Das, D-A-U-S. You can find her like on, well, you can look her up. Her website's awesome and fun jewelry. But that's some of the things I'm gonna share with you on my channel. So I wanna thank you all for watching. I hope you'll join me. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's exciting. Maybe you won't think it 
it's exciting, but it was sure exciting for me. And I don't have anybody else to talk to except you. So thanks for joining me. I want to quote the wonderful play Mame and, and anti-Mame, the Broadway musical, and have you remember that life is a banquet and half the poor suckers are starving to death. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon. Please join me.